and I want to renew my commitment to addressing racism that exists in our neighborhoods, in the workplace, and in law enforcement. Columbus City Council votes to declare racism as a public health crisis. So what does that mean? NBC4 Sean Lanier joins us now from the News 4 Watch 4 desk to break it all down for us. Sean. Well, that's right. The vote was supposed to happen. I just got a text from uh, the City Council spokesperson stating that they're still asking questions. Council is of Mayor Andrew Ginther and Police Chief Quinlan, so we're still waiting for that. Well, what this means for the city is that now the city and more than 750 Columbus business and organizational leaders agree that racism is here and it has shaped where we are right now and it needs to change. The city has addressed this issue of infant mortality and food deserts because grocery stores with fresh produce leave areas and also areas with limited access to health care and realize African Americans are always disproportionately impacted in those areas and more because of the policies of the past but now the city leaders say they need to do more. Uh, for a couple of years the city of Columbus has been putting together reports such as the disparity report to show how old policies played a role in shaping the city, determining who lived where and where resources would go and how we can change the past now. This declaration now puts in writing that the city acknowledges an issue. The question remains whether Mayor Andrew Ginther will follow through, especially when people in the community question police division's tactics under his tenure. I've been very clear, uh, and I accept full responsibility. I am the mayor. I accept full responsibility for the engagement and the tactics used by the Division of Police on Saturday. They did not meet my or the community's expectations. I had a very direct conversation with the chief on uh, Sunday morning, and I think uh, you and many others that have been down there have seen a very, very different approach. And I spoke one-on-one -on -one with the sponsor of this bill, Councilwoman Priscilla Tyson, who says this declaration will not change hundreds of years of racism overnight. That will take time. The city wanted to make this declaration during the Minority Mental Health Month, which was in April, but COVID-19 delayed that announcement. Look for you at the Watch for Alert desk. Sean Lanier, NBC4.